Hi and welcome to another Cheeky Girl Creations video. So today I will be creating a page in this art journal. Um, this was made a few years ago and I used um, uh, paper towels that I had used to mop up paints and inks and stuff and I basically glued quite a few layers I would say maybe f four paper towels together with um, using PVA glue so that they would create quite a strongish page this the cover I probably doubled that um, so it'll be nice and sturdy that I can create on and so I just put some gesso over the cover and I did do a quick sketch just to see how it would feel and of course it's very textured because I mean there's paper towels and you can see um, closer up how like imperfect they are so all of these pages have some color to start on with which will be interesting um, I don't tend to use colored pages I'm kind of used to more blank pages now so um, this will be nice to work on for a little bit of a change and this will probably be quite a quick video just because you know it's such a small page um, yeah so yeah so when I did the paper towels I like glued them together when they were like their original size and I folded them in half so they would be a bit stronger so maybe it's not even four pages maybe it's around two and then some of them are thicker than others so this one's quite thin and this one's a bit thicker and I just binded the book together with a very simple stitch. I hope you can see that. I did go over with black paint so that I couldn't see the stitches as well. Oops, sorry. That was a frame. Um, yeah, so very simple um, binding. Um, yeah, so I shall put this into fast forward mode. And of course, I'll have a voiceover so you know what I'm doing. And yeah, so let's get on with the video. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to grab some pink ink. Um, and you see I'm just putting some papers to protect the pages and um, first I splash the paint the ink on sorry then I dab that off um, and then I thought it'd be interesting to like draw in some circles with the um, like the pipette piece and um, I at the time I was doing this page I didn't have a heat gun because it broke so um, I do tend to dab off the color so it dries a little bit quicker and it also blends into the page quite nicely as well um, yeah, so you'll see me doing that quite a lot because I'm extremely impatient and I, and I really wanted it to dry um, a lot faster since I was without my heat gun. So, um, I'm just grabbing some scrap papers. Um, this book, I'm not too sure where it's from, but in this book I tend to keep any scrap, um, book papers that, um, from previous projects. And I'm grabbing another book, um, that one's like an insight, psych Encyclopedia slash dictionary. Um, so sometimes there's like kind of diagrams and stuff. So this one was like a diagram of a bird. So um, I grabbed that as well. And I'm going to get a couple more papers, I think, because I was creating like a cluster um, and I wanted something at the bottom. So I grabbed that. And I thought that looked quite nice. Uh, and the kind of like yellow ochre kind of browning one, I think, was created when I was um, like blending inks or something. And then the other book paper has a really light stamped kind of watercolor image on there of a dragonfly, I believe. Um, so I was just marking where the pages were supposed to go. And now I'm just gluing that down with some PVA glue. I'm trying my best not to put down too much PVA glue. I tend to kind of overdo in the PVA glue, but since I didn't have my heat gun, I thought I would um, only put as much as I really needed. I'm just smushing that in um, because since the page is so textured, I did want to make sure that was stuck well. And I'm not going to put the burr down just yet because I still want to work a bit on the background. So I really felt like putting some um, glass bead gel on there. And that's from one of my previous mixed media um, subscription boxes. Um, that was from, like I think, March or something. Um, last year's March, not this year. And I just put that in a few areas where I knew it wouldn't affect it too much. And once it dries clear, it looked really nice. 
but of course I would have to wait for that to air dry and um, I'm just trying to kind of blend away those hard edges from the papers so I'm gone in with some chalk primer and my palette knife and just kind of breaking up those edges um, and just kind of making it um, blend into the background more because I don't want to make it look as if it's like paper stuck on stuck onto a page so I wanted my bird to be colored so I'm going in with my spray inks and I'm just kind of dabbing on a, a little bit of colour as you can see there and then I'm just blending that um, in with my brush. So the bird's going to end up looking really nice and bright. And I was really liking how that was looking, it like really popped off the, um, the page. And I'm just adding some black for the beak um, and I just kind of blended that around the edge of the paper. And now I'm going to take this like almond colour paint because I didn't want, again, I don't want it to look as if I stuck down a piece of paper. So I do have to make the um, background of that bird um, kind of blend into the page. So adding that color helped a bit. And then I'm going to go in with some black ink just to kind of really grungy up the edge. Now that I've grungied up that edge, um, now I'm going to grungy up like the papers I stuck down already. And that's also helping to bring back some of the detail as well um, from those papers. And I just added a bit of that ink like kind of around the edges and over the page just to pick up some of that texture. And I felt like the um, background was now a bit too dark. So I'm going in and adding some more chalk primer. And I'm, I'm adding quite thin layers. So again, it doesn't dry. It doesn't take too long to dry. Um, and while I was adding those splats, I forgot to turn my bird upside down. So accidentally I got some of that on there, but I just decided to go with it. So I just added a few more dots of pink, blended that in. And again, that would help it um, look like it belongs in the page. And again, dabbing back that pink so it's not too dark. I'm going to add some orange splats and some blue splats from the spray ink to kind of... Um, also to draw from the colour of the bird and then I added some black. I did make sure to turn the bird over that time because I didn't want to get any black splashes on the bird. And I want to put some words. So from the same encyclopedia page, I cut out the word bird and feathers. Um, so I would say bird feathers and then that like strip of jersey. It's been tie dyed and I used that to make um, jersey yarn. I'll link that in the icon top right hand corner if you want to um, see how to do that. Um, and this was just some scraps that wouldn't have worked for, to, for yarn. So I'm using those scraps. Um, also some of those scraps are from when I finished crocheting my coasters which I'll also link um, in the description below so that you can see what I'm talking about. And I felt as if um, the, like, the quote um, or should I say the phrase, wasn't really standing out enough. So I put that almond colour over the paper and blended some black over there. And that's just a scrap of book paper, like from the kind of around the edges where there's no writing on there. So I'm just adding the same kind of colours um, that I use for the background. So it's not going to stand out that much, um, but it will add like another layer for the that phrase to go on to. So it doesn't kind of disappear into the background as much, especially since I made it a bit lighter. And I'm going to use some tacky glue um, to stick that down, especially since it's fabric. And then I'll cut that down to size. So you can see, and of course that doesn't stick out too much, but now I'm going to take um, the same book paper strip but instead I'm just going to stick that um, the phrase on there so you'll have a, a light border. So it adds just a few more layers and it looks a bit more interesting, like a little bit more to look at. Um, so I really liked how that was looking and I felt as if it needed a black border. So I'm just adding that in a few different areas on those layers um, with that applicator, which is attached to the ink bottle um, lid. And that I've, I found just finished that off nicely and I'll add some highlights once that's like dry. And I'm going to stick that down again using some tacky glue. And I'll also stick down the bird. And at this point I was really liking how it was um, going but I felt as if I needed a little bit more. And you can see um, the tacky glue was just being a bit difficult to come out there. I'm just spreading that with the palette knife.
and now that's stuck on nicely so I think I'm going to add ah yes I wanted to go around the words so I'm going to use my sharpie pen um so it's nice and fine so it wouldn't like smudge too much like if I if I use a calligraphy pen and I'm also going to go around that bird and that's when it was really coming together because now that I was adding um detailing it was the black grounds it and adding the detailing makes it pop a bit and soon um, I will add some white but first I'm just going around the edge with that almond color just to kind of brighten up the page just a little bit adding around the phrase and the bird and that kind of cluster of papers and I'm also adding some I think blue in some areas and then I'll add a nice um, black border with that ink Again, I love adding borders to my pages. It just really helps to finish off the page. It grounds it as well. So it doesn't really look like it's floating too much. And I'm going to use that ink applicator just to um, outline the papers and also kind of add like a ground where the bird would be standing. And I'm also outlining the phrase and that helped a lot more as well. And I've also added some splashes. So now I'm going to go in with my highlights using my Unibol Signal pen on the bird, the phrase, and um, anywhere else on the page. I think it needs it. So that is it. Um, if you like the video, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And click that bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. I am out of the country, so please do subscribe to my newsletter, which will all of that's linked down below so you can find out when I'll be back. Um, so yeah, so thanks again for watching. I I hope you join me again for another RT video. Bye!